Samantha Melville lives with the scars of a car accident. Well, now her nightmare's taken another nasty turn. Nine years after the crash, Samantha's been slapped with a, wait for it, $6 million insurance bill. Here's why. I got a letter from Berkshire Hathaway that said I need to pay $6.3 million in 21 days. This is just gobsmacking um, for this woman who wasn't speeding, who wasn't drinking, who wasn't on drugs, who was involved in this terrible accident. A lot of crying and a lot of sort of late nights and, and that sort of stuff that just, you know, like, enough's enough, you know. This is the Adelaide office of Berkshire Hathaway. I've brought the 82-page bill. Let's see what they have to say. June 29, 2012 is a day Samantha Melville can't remember but will never forget. The then 23-year-old was driving herself and her former friend to work when she lost control in a severe storm and crashed into a tree in country South Australia. It was my brother's car and it was registered. Samantha and her passenger were both seriously injured. Uh, so I have a brain injury. I had a shattered pelvis, broke back bottom bits of my spine. I'm deaf in my left ear. Her husband, Michael, says her recovery took months. She's been through more than I think most people would in their lives. It's certainly more than, than I've ever had to deal with. You know, she, like, she had to learn to walk again. She had to learn to count, like, you know, all of, you know, just basic things, you know, that you take for granted. Nine years on, the crash that changed Samantha's life was well in the rearview mirror. The 32-year-old's now a married mother of four and a homeowner, but still lives with the scars of her past. I don't know, my brain's bonkers. <laughs> I just have to write everything down everywhere, because otherwise, if I don't write it down, then it's gone. But I just live with it, <laughs> I don't know. I haven't been able to work, I'm not allowed to work. You have to deal with that you hurt your friend every day and I have pain every day. But... After she got out of hospital, she was charged with driving without due care and received a $400 fine. The police report said... Severe wind, thunderstorms, rain and bales of hail along Adelaide Road. Found to have both rear tyres below acceptable standard of tread, which combined with prevalent weather conditions contributed to the collision. It also noted the Holden sedan had been in for repairs just two months prior to the accident. The lawyer I spoke to said that they'd charge me with something so then the Motor Accident Commission would pay out the claim for the injuries to the person in the car. Then in 2014, she got a letter from Allianz Australia, who at the time was the Motor Accident Commission's claims manager, saying it is our understanding that at the time of the accident, you drove a vehicle that was unsafe, unroadworthy and in a damaged condition. Called Allianz on that because their number was on the letter and they said, don't worry about it because it's all covered under Motor Accident Commission. They assured us, uh, assured us that um, it was all done and, and there would be no further um, proceedings or anything. And that was the case until a few weeks ago. Samantha received this from insurer Berkshire Hathaway who took over the claim. We refer to our previous letter dated 10 February 2014, a copy of which is enclosed, demanding she pays... ..the sum of $6,312,399.83. Did you find it strange that a letter demanding $6.3 million came in the mail with no phone call? Yeah, and no signature and no name on the letter either. And what was your initial reaction to that? Well, I knew that I had the car accident, so I was like, yeah, maybe it's real, but then at the same time, I'm like, maybe it's a scam. So I've rang police officers and done all that, and they all told me it was a scam, and I reported a scam watch, and Berks, yeah, the way, is not very happy that I did that. So the police told you to report it to Scamwatch? Yeah. Because they thought it was a scam? Yeah. But it's not? No, it's not. <laughs> I think I called Berkshire Hathaway the next day and they just pretty much were laughing at me on the phone and told me that they have to negotiate. And then I've just tried to get advice from lawyers since then and then no one's helping. I asked them for all the evidence of the car being unroadworthy and they said they need to seek legal advice. 
Samantha got a copy of the $6.3 million bill and here it is in its 82-page glory. Among the fees, they're demanding she pays more than $55,000 for surveillance, $9,500 for factual investigations and almost $1 million in legal fees for a court case she didn't even know was happening. Why do we have our compulsory third party insurance if it isn't for cases such as this? Lawyer Nick Xenophon is taking on Samantha's case for free. Obviously there was a significant payout for the other person uh, who was injured. I understand that. But what I don't understand is why they are pursuing her because it was an accident. This is why you have compulsory third party insurance. The risk here is that if this case becomes a precedent, it sends a chilling message to anyone who's on the road who's involved in an accident that they could be chased by the compulsory third party insurer for damages. The US company Berkshire Hathaway pursuing her has only recently bought in to Australia's lucrative car insurance industry and apparently brought with them a dogged attitude to debt collecting. Well, I asked why the $6.3 million bill was sent to Samantha and the response from Berkshire Hathaway was no comment. But the insurer's CEO, Warren Buffett, one of the world's richest men, has built his public persona around caring for the less fortunate. We should take care of people who become, in effect, roadkill because of something beyond their control. A sentiment that his company appears to have forgotten. Samantha's 21 days to pay ends tomorrow, and she has no idea what happens after that. Are you scared they're going to take yeah. your house <laughs> yeah and that's what lawyers have said to me pretty much and that's all that they said is that they can take the house and then make me go bankrupt and that's it it's very american rest assured we're going to stay on the case for samantha